Selamat datang di kamar gue di kamar Rama React to Special Program 3.3 Genshin Impact Gila cepat banget ya Gue kayaknya baru kemarin ya apa ngeber, uh, bikin 3.2 Special Program sama VTuber uh, si Hitoshi Ini sudah ada 3.3 Special Program Dan apa nama gue ngerasa emang cepat banget apa namanya Special Program kali ini Jadi emang taktis banget gitu loh dan rapat banget apa namanya uh, ini mereka apa namanya program mereka gitu loh apa namanya apa yang mereka mau update kita lihat yuk kita lihat bareng-bareng yuk gue gini gini sebelum sebelum gue mulai ya gue itu selalu membuat react nggak nonton langsung karena ada karakter baru di sini akan di tiap special program itu selalu ada karakter baru jadi gue mau ngelihat sedikit ngebedah sedikit ngomongin ngeriak gitu apa yang gua tonton pada special program ini oke okay, kita masuk oke okay, ini dia special program huh. bakal ada apa kita lihat saja play hey traveler what a surprise oke okay, what a surprise I bet you didn't waste any time as soon as you heard that Inazuma was organizing a test of courage event right uh, okay. I know you Oh, what what am I doing? Well, yes, what am I doing? Yeah, you know? out the place. I've been investigating the area and I've already figured out all the plans for the event. Of course, I can tell you. Bentar, 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 bentar. bentar. Kayaknya harusnya bisa gua ganti. Gua ganti ke bahasa Indonesia deh. Nah, ada. Sip. Nah, biar enak kan kalian juga nontonnya ya. Oke. Okay. Well, the details We're practically family. We're practically family. Okay. I'm Max Middleman and this is the Genshin Impact version 3.3 special program. Oke, okay, let's, let's go. Let's the version 3.3 Let's go. Ah, trailer gimana? Gue belum lihat trailer sama sekali. Balik ke Inazuma. A friendly word of advice. Test of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange Jurit malam. and stories. Oke. Okay. So please be sure to exercise caution. Okay, jump scare. <laughs> Were you scared? <laughs> Harus ini pada waktu Halloween kemarin loh. Apalagi obon ya di sana ya di Jepang. Oh, okay. Who are you? Itu bukan Raden Shogun ya? Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. Oke. Okay. From this day forth, Balladeer and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Cease to exist. Oke. Okay. Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? Oh. Oke. Okay. <laughs> Dottore. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh. Oke. Okay, oke, okay, oke, okay. oke. Okay. Oke. gue udah ngelihat ini apa apa namanya di bocoran. Oke. Okay. Dan Faruzan. Oh, oh panah, oke. Okay. Panah kerayu, baru ganyu ya. Oh nggak ada, ada Diona, ada Diona, ada Diona. Fungsinya apa? Tapi gue pengen tahu Farzan. Yes. Oke. Okay. Ini cerita yang bikin gue penasaran. Apa yang akan terjadi sama Skaramush? Welcome to the Genshin Impact version. Oh, ada sekarang mus. Oh, tumben si apa si Lumin? Sarah Miller Cruz. Sarah Miller Cruz. And Genshin Impact. And today I'm joined by Max, the one and only Mi Millman. Okay. The one and only Arataki Ito. <laughs> and I'm Patrick Pedraza. Bisa ditebak. Ada. But up until now, Ito. Travelers have only Banner selanjutnya. Scaramouche and everyone's been bowing me in the game lately. Yes. <laughs> It's a really cool fight. Cool fight, cool fight indeed. Cool fight indeed. I know. Anyway, I'm super excited to have the chance to share some upcoming content with everyone. Okay. What did you all think about that trailer? 
Okay, so I definitely saw Erminsul in there. And Erminsul? I oh, really yeah, Erminsul must be. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that trailer had everything. It had everything. It had uh, action. It, it had, had uh, drama. drama. It was lighthearted in places, but it was dramatic. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. always dramatic, indeed. Dude, I'm just super stoked for everyone to see Scaramouche's, like, backstory. Oh. Gue pengen tahu, gue pengen tahu banget well, apa yang terjadi sama Scaramouche setelah kita mengalahkannya dia. Scaramouche is still in Nahida's custody. So, oh? I bet the question everyone's wanting to know is how he'll become the Wanderer. Yes, yeah, yes, sure. of And course. Quite a story behind that. Mm. If you're interested, then be sure to play through the Archon Quest interlude chapter in version of Genesis. Wah, harus, ma harus main sih, harus main ini. Quest, so I hope everyone checks it out. Yeah, will be, will be, will be. And you can't just leave everyone hanging like that. How about some hints? Come on, please. please. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. How can yeah. I say no to a cute chibi Ido? You can't. Here's <laughs> a little preview from the quest. Oh, okay. Preview from the quest. Oh, oh. Really? two people at the academia today talking about an essay. Turns out their topic was about the Tatara Suna incident. Oh. From what they were saying, it sounded like lots of Tatara Suna's history is still unexplained. Okay. And most of the information we have now is just from people filling the gaps with their imagination. Ah. Okay, okay. Well, they guessed right Any about what so. Tatara Suna was sabotaged. Okay. Oke, okay, Tatara Suna itu tempat forging itu kan ya? Why are they talking about Tatara Suna? Hmm, I guess we'll have to see. It is interesting though to see the traveler and Ahida and Scaramouche all together so peacefully like that. Yeah, hmm. yeah, but in this interlude chapter, Intro chapter. we'll task the traveler and Paimon with keeping an eye on Scaramouche while we go with him into Ermensol in search of some information. Ah, oke. Oke, oke, oke. Ahida must have some reason for deciding to keep Scaramouche around. Oh ya, yeah, totally. And I'm liking Scaramouche's new style. Lebih Whoa, ya, karena kan tadinya tadi elektro kan ya. Heck yeah, always. <laughs> Jadi anemo. <laughs> right. And at this point, he's known by a completely different name, the Wanderer. Okay, Wanderer. Okay, so hey. I know I'm not the okay, only okay, one okay. curious about what happened. I mean, it looks like he's really changed a lot. Yeah, for sure. But I'm afraid that's all we can show for now. Ya, gua 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 enggak sabar, gua enggak sabar. Gua enggak sabar. 10 hari lagi berarti Desember awal-awal. Storyline without too many spoilers, right? <laughs> true, true. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, we'll leave the rest for travelers to discover themselves. But okay. the wanderer is okay, kita lihat, kita lihat. a new playable character in version 3.3. So let's okay, talk then. about that. I'm sure many of our viewers are curious about his talents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Butin ini yang pengen gue bahas ini yang banget ini yang pengen gue bahas banget. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force. Gue udah ngelihat apa namanya uh, bocorannya leaknya, cuman gue penasaran masih ngapain aja gitu loh. Oke. Okay. Oh bisa nembak ke bawah juga, nggak cuma di atas. Oke. Okay. Wow. Banyak yang ngomong ini kayak Kung Lao. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Okay. Help introduce the Wanderer for us. Sure thing. The Wanderer is a catalyst user and has an animo vision. So he uses wind blades to perform wind blade. okay. normal attacks. Oke, okay, itu normal attack-nya. Not the same as the traveler's wind blade though. <laughs> okay. okay. So as everyone probably already noticed, the Wanderer can hover in the air while okay. he casts his elemental skill. Dar, jadi dia bisa bisa hover di di, di udara ketika menggunakan elemental skillnya. Ini karakter karakter aneh mau kok. Oh ini semua ya mobile semua ya gila. Upon using his elemental skill, he will first deal AOE damage before leaping into the air and entering a hovering state. So while hovering. Oh jadi waktu dia mulai naik dia uh, anemo anemo apa namanya anemo damage dulu AOE terus baru bisa sambil sambil melayang dia bisa 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 nembak nembakin wah kok OP ya the wanderer's normal end charge attacks will be converted into kugo fushudan and kugu tofukai respectively oh the damage they deal and their AOE will be increased their damage hancur jadi gampang kalau musuh terbang wah wah tapi kalau begini berarti Uh, ada satu yang 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 gua gua apa namanya gua 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 tangkap di sini. 
uh, egois lagi, egois, agak egois kayak Xiao lagi. Karena berarti harus stop di harus stop di Xiao. Dia apa namanya putaran-putaran tim lu tuh harus stop di Xiao. Eh, kok so, oh, Xiao sih ya? Di di Wanderer. Di Wanderer, sorry. Di Wanderer, harus stop di Wanderer karena bagi kalau lu pindah ya ya skillnya ke cancel, harus cancel ya coba kita dengar ya. Also, Kugutofu Kai will not consume stamina. Tidak mau kau susi stamina. Ah. Uh. That's so awesome. I can't fly. <laughs> I know, I know, right? But he can't stay hovering forever. Okay. While hovering, the wanderer constantly consumes Kugurioku. Oh, points yang belakangnya dia. Which is the blue meter you see on the screen. Oh, Even beda. Oh, itu oke 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 blue meter. Attack, Hovering will still consume Kugurioku points. Oh, oke. Okay, okay. So this mechanic works a little differently than. Jadi dia punya bar sendiri ketika lagi melayang, oke. Okay. Many possible actions the wanderer can perform while hovering in the air, which all rely on Kugurioku points rather than stamina. So, for example, uh? sprinting mid-air will consume additional Kugurioku points. Oke. Okay. Accelerate mid-air. And holding the sprint button will cause persistent point consumption to oh, speed. So menarik, this menarik, menarik. Places default sprint. Jumping expends extra Kugurioku points to increase hovering height. Oh, jadi nambah. Holding... Jadi lari, 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 dash, sprint itu akan makan stamina. Sama kayak kayak apa nama makan stamina biasa. Cuman dia stamina nya stamina stamina saat terbangnya itu sendiri. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Jump will cause persistent Kugurioku point consumption to keep increasing hovering height. Of course, running out of points will end his hovering state. Oke. Okay. Oh, oke. Okay. So travelers will need to plan their actions. Nah, iya benar benar. Traveler harus harus menjalankan gerakan mereka dulu sebelum uh, saat melayang. Jadi semua harus di setup dulu, setup 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 setup. setup. Ya, kalau misalnya kayak di sini ada dia kasih visual, dia taruh visual dulu. Kalau misalnya lu mau pakai siangling pakai siangling dulu, pakai yelan pakai yelannya dulu baru terbang. Oke. Okay. hovering. Exactly. So with his talent Jade, Jade Claim Flower, oke. Okay. Casting his elemental skill, if it contacts hydro, pyro, cryo or electro, that instance of the skill will receive a corresponding buff effect depending on which element ah, oke. Okay. Lucu lucu lucu. his Kugurioku points cap attack, crit rate, or restoring a set amount of energy upon hitting opponents with a normal or charged attack. The wanderer can have up to two different kinds of these buffs simultaneously. Wanderer bisa OP guys. Wanderer bisa OP banget guys. Ini agak mirip sama, dia punya status yang mirip sama, uh, apa namanya, sama uh, dendronya, dendronya main, main character sama, si siapa namanya sama si sama si Nahida jadi bersentuhan dengan elemen tertentu itu akan mengakibatkan buff tertentu wah ini partinya bisa macam-macam dong lagi nih oke lanjut lagi oh look 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 check that out part of the halo behind him changes color depending on the buffs you get oh. so travelers will be able to easily understand what effects the wanderer currently has I yeah. like that It's helpful and still looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so after okay. unlocking another talent, Gales of Reverie, when the wanderer is in the hovering state, okay. his normal or charge attack hits an enemy, there is a set chance to gain another buff effect, oh? allowing him to sprint midair without consuming Kugurioku points. Waduh. Kalau ini channel, serem sih. Har tapi harusnya ini dibicarakan channel ya. Dope. I'm sure extra buff effects like that will go a long way for players when they're in combat. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And if you've noticed, there is a colorful yes. aura of light body to indicate when that buff effect is triggered. Oh, tapi kurang 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 cool. kurang signifikan. Tapi ini bagus sih. Right, tapi kurang oke okay, tapi ini. Oke, okay, bersih apa? So, check this out. Upon unleashing his burst, mm? he compresses the atmosphere and stomps it down toward the enemy. Okay. So travelers should note that if the wanderer is in a hovering state when he unleashes his burst, uh? then the hovering state will end and he will begin descending after. Oh, the burst jadi jadi kalau lo ngeburst saat lo lagi terbang, otomatis lo uh, akan mengakhiri uh, apa namanya skillnya lo. Jadi nggak nggak hovering lagi. Agak rugi, tapi uh, harus di harus dilihat di mana momentum lu apa namanya bisa bisa melakukan burst-nya. Buat gue ini agak OP sih. 
Apakah dia main elemental mastery? Kalau main elemental mastery lumayan serem sih. Okay. Tapi kalau misalnya dia sama kayak Xiao sama kayak Heizo, kemungkinan terbesarnya dia karakter yang lebih lebih fokus dia tek sih, oke. Exploration talent. Eh? Oh ini 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 senjatanya dia juga nih. Alright, now Great damage. Oke, okay, Farusan, Farusan, Farusan gue belum lihat. Gue Farusan gue belum lihat sama sekali soalnya. What did you say? I'm old now. So oh, Judas ya. <laughs> Judas banget ya. <laughs> Try calling me Madam Farozan. Duh, Judas Can banget, cuy. Oke. Okay. What is it that you would like to learn more about? Galak, cuy, galak. The base layer design of elements. Ya suka apa? Tante-tante galak. Wait. Did you forget to call me Madam Farozan just now when you asked your question? Whoa. What? What? There's nothing wrong with being afraid of thunder even at an older age. Okay. Oh, she sounds sassy. Sassy. So really really sassy. Galak, cuy, galak, galak, galak. I wonder what her skirt's made. I know her design is so Oh, iya. And really detailed. Skirtnya bagus banget, cuy. So even though she looks super young. Oh, tunggu sebentar. Kalau ngeliat bajunya ya guys ya, kalau ngeliat bajunya guys ya, dia akan jadi salah satu karakter. Jadi jadi waktu tiap kali gue ke apa namanya ke sebuah event event wibu atau apa uh, ya event wibu lah, ada cosplay. Uh, beberapa karakter yang sering di cosplaykan itu adalah Hutau, belakangan itu adalah uh, Yan Fei. Dan kalau ngeliat ini Kemungkinan terbesar akan jadi jadi salah satu karakter juga yang akan di cosplaykan. Kenapa? Tertutup, tertutup guys. Uh, jadi cosplayer itu lebih nyaman untuk makainya. Gak ngeliatin cleavage. Ya walaupun walaupun kalau misalnya ngeliat di sini dia masih ada masih ada apa skin ya di sini ya. Tapi nggak ngeliatin cleavage. Apalagi buat cewek-cewek uh, yang dadanya nggak terlalu besar juga bisa masih bisa masih bisa cantik pakai begini. Which is good, which is good apa namanya jadi lebih bebas untuk memakai apa uh, kostum yang lebih bebas untuk dipakai sama cosplayer. Eh it's a good thing. Gue pengen tahu ada yang ada yang nge-cosplay Faruzan gak ntar? Setelah ini keluar ya. Let's go, lanjut lagi. Well, she's not that old. Oh right. Faruzan's age is probably still nothing compared to Scaramouche. Heeh. But let's call him The Wanderer, Sarah. Okay, you know who I meant. Actually, now that I think about it, Yokai can also live a really long time too. That's right. Yeah. No. And speaking of age, isn't the Traveler's age also kind of mysterious? Yes. That's true. It looks like all of our characters are intriguing. Okay. But it's safe to say that Faruzan is way older than most people into that. Okay. Faruzan works in the Academia's Haravatat Darshan and okay. has a hair bod, which roughly means mentor for over a century. Ooh. So I better over a century. Lebih dari sahabat. Sahabat itu seratus tahun. Like Klee. Okay. No, she's actually just your regular typical human being. Oh. Well, maybe not so typical. Seratus tahun. Dan dan kan kita kita ada ada Shenhe di sini, jadi ya, gua nggak heran sih. Traveling all around Sumeru and solving many puzzles and mysteries. The notes she left behind eventually became the basis of mechanical research for later generations. Anjir. Wow, she sounds pretty amazing. Ya pantesan galak ya. Udah tua juga soalnya. Later, she accidentally stumbled into some ruins while trying to solve a puzzle. There, she encountered some strange phenomenon which stopped her from aging oh. and was trapped there for nearly a hundred years. Ooh. She eventually solved the puzzle and was able to finally return to Sumeru. Hmm. hmm. Can you imagine being trapped in a puzzle for 100 years? Mm -mm. Wait, wait, wait. So that's how she's been a uh, hair bod for over a century. Yeah. Who and said that? Okay. Now, she still has the pride of a scholar in her heart and is a very talented person. Yeah, but, yeah, satu tahun belajar doang ya. Ya, enggak heran sih. So okay. She's kind of fallen behind the times now. Oh, okay, yeah. agak sedikit kolot katanya. <laughs> she was once a proud researcher in a niche field that has become unpopular after 100 years. 
So is she still completely dedicated to her field? Mm. Yep. And okay. she often tries using her old age as a means of drumming up support for her ideas. Okay. However, I think she'd prefer to be complained about for using her seniority rather than garnering sympathy <laughs> for her experience. <laughs> okay, okay. Lalu cek Farzan ini, walaupun kata bintang empat ya. I know, right? Okay. So now that we've covered her backstory, why don't we take a look at Farzan's abilities in combat? Okay, gue pengen gue belum lihat, gue belum lihat belum bocorannya Farzan ini. Jadi gue pengen lihat. Oke, okay. dia pakai ini berarti elemental mastery. Dia pakai stringless. Uh oh, oh. Ah, oh. Eh bentar, bentar, bentar dulu. Kenapa indah banget? Kenapa indah banget? Kenapa indah banget di sini? Oh wow. Oke. Oke. I love all the geometric shapes when she's playing. Did you guys see that? Yes, there's so much geometry and I took geometry. Oke, oke, oke. So Farzan is an animo character. Animo character. Oh, animo. Oke, okay, animo character juga. Oke, okay, bow. Oke, the usual bow attacks you'd expect from a bow user. So mm. there's not too much to say about that. Oke. Okay. But her skills are where things get. We know from Nas Nasa Jim. Okay. Elemental skill deploys a polyhedron that deals damage to enemies. After using her skill, huh? her next aimed shot will become a special attack that creates a vortex, pulling nearby objects and opponents in. Oh, nice. So she can clump enemies together. And there's also another thing about her special charged attack. It will create a vortex effect at its point of impact. And if the attack hits an enemy or ally member, it'll apply a mark and create a vortex after a short delay. Ah, keren karakter-karakter baru. Oke, okay, gue lanjutin dulu, gue lanjutin dulu. Okay, okay. So, it looks like there will be a lot of potential uses for this attack. Travelers will have to experiment with it and see what they come up with. Yeah, ah. I think it'd be amazing to try hitting teammates with the arrow in co-op mode and have them charge into the enemies to group them all together. Oh, bisa jadi co-op bagus, bisa. After unlocking the talent Impetuous Flow, the time required oh. for fully charging Farozan's next shot will be reduced, and the arrow will reduce the target enemy's animo resistance. In her elemental burst, she deployed. Bentar, 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 bentar. Ini skillnya bagus amat, jadi skillnya bisa skillnya. Tidak, tidak, tidak. Gue, gue, gue baca lagi ya. Jadi skillnya bisa, bisa, bisa membantu teman. Jadi sub DPS sama dia bisa mengumpulkan musuh dalam satu dalam satu area. Dan ketika dia memakai skillnya, charge attack selanjutnya itu di reduce damage apa apa di reduce timingnya kurang lebih sama kayak apa namanya kayak tinari uh, jadi habis setelah skill uh, serangan serangan selanjutnya itu adalah uh, pendek pendek apa namanya pendek pendek uh, charging attacknya berarti tipikal Carter charging attack tapi kalau mau lihat di sini pakai stringless berarti efektifnya dia ada di em apa bursnya Aduh bagus banget sih <laughs> Ini bisa jadi bagus sih Oke okay. Ngurangin animo resistance Pantesan dari tadi dipasang ini sama animo mulu Oke okay. Oke okay. Throughout its duration The dazzling polyhedron will continuously move along a triangular path. Uh? Once it reaches each corner of that triangular path, it will unleash one more whirlwind pulse. Pulse. Yeah. Pulse. One she's here. The next she pulse. Poly pulse. Gone for a hundred years. Bada boom. Even Sino's jokes are funnier than that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That, that's the right. anyway, way to Sino. Okay, what about whirlwind pulse? When the whirlwind pulse hits opponents, it will decrease their animo resistance. Ah. It will also apply an animo damage buff effect to all nearby party members when it's unleashed. Huh? Whirlwind pulse juga akan menemukan, memberikan animo. Oh ya, benar-benar. Jadi apa pas pas dia ngepulse kan apa namanya ngasih dia animo damage. Sama dia ngurangin uh, apa namanya agak uh, oh agak spesifik berarti sebenarnya si si Faruzan ini spesifik untuk karakter Anemo. Tapi karena dia Anemo, dia efektif juga untuk dirinya sendiri. Jadi apa namanya kalau dia bisa jadi DPS? Harusnya ini ini spekulasi gua ketika video ini dibuat ya. 
Betul, uh, gua, 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 gua apa namanya berspekulasi aja nih. Berarti dia sendiri akan efektif untuk melakukan damage sebenarnya. Harusnya ya. Tapi kalau jadi support buat kalian yang pakai Xiao, yang pakai Jane, yang pakai siapapun lah yang pakai Anemo. Wah, Farozan jadi 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 wajib untuk punya, guys. Not just within the whirlwind pulse itself. So there's no need to go chasing the polyhedron. Oh. After unlocking her talent, Lost Wisdom of the Seven Caverns. Huh? When a team member uses normal charged or plunging attacks, elemental skills or elemental bursts to deal animo damage to an enemy, uh? the damage will increase based on Farozan's base attack. This Based on ba oh. once for a certain duration of time. Oh, so it seems she'll be the sole support. Yeah. Seperti yang gue bilang, uh, karakter apa namanya? karakter Genshin Impact itu bag metanya ada di support. Faruzan bisa jadi support yang bagus sih kalau kata gue. Bisa jadi support yang bagus. Totally. Tapi fokusnya and di anime mungkin ya. Mechanics and puzzles, Faruzan has taken it upon herself to explore many ruins. With her travels taking her all across Sumeru. Oh, tambahan itu doang. And she gains more rewards when dispatched on a Sumeru expedition for 20 hours. Oke, okay, that's in ya, okay. Gua gua bisa ngeliat Faruzan bisa buat gantiin apa namanya karakter-karakter lain. Walaupun mungkin tidak ti, orang udah sudah mulai terbiasa pakai Kazuha, sudah terbiasa pakai Ska, apa Sukros, pakai Venti. Tapi Faruzan ini bisa jadi salah satu pilihan karakter yang bisa jadi efektif. Mungkin, mungkin ya, mungkin ya guys ya. Bisa jadi efektif dengan apa namanya? dengan skillnya dia tadi, dengan burst-nya dia tadi. Dia akan apa namanya? walaupun cuma anemo ya sayangnya ya. Tapi dengan Firi mungkin dia akan akan lebih efektif lagi. Uh, again dan dan again buat kalian yang punya apa namanya? Xiao banyak banget temennya Xiao, uh, pasti, pasti, akan bisa menggunakan Faruzan dengan lebih bagus. Apalagi kalau kalian, Wanderer dan Xiao deh, Wanderer, Wanderer dan Xiao, Heizou, Heizou, kalau kalian punya Heizou, bisa juga, uh, meng, apa, mem, menggunakan Faruzan itu sebagai boosting damage, karena animo resist, eh, apa, animo, di buff animo resistannya gede, ba banyak gitu loh, Oke, okay, lanjut, lanjut. Nah. Oke, okay, kita lihat bannernya. Gini, gini. Uh, dia keluar di fase 1. Faruzan Wanderer Arataki Ito. Pas player itu lagi abi, udah habis-habisan buat Nahida. Gua udah buat banner senjata juga. Gua udah dapat apa namanya uh, Thundering Pulse R3 kemarin. Gua baru ngumpulin sedikit Primo Game. Gimana gue bisa dapetin Red Horn baru kalau misalnya Arataki itu nya di sini. Gua berharap artikelnya Arataki itu tuh di fase kedua minimal. Ah. Eh, let's go. Asaduanya siapa? dan kami satu Ayato. Wah. Wah. Ya bisa nabung sih buat yang mau mau Raiden Shogun sama yang mau kami satu Ayato. Ya siap-siap ya guys ya. Untungnya gue aman di sini. Sama-sama pedang ya. Tulay Tulas Remembers ini buat buat si pasti pasti akan ditilas buat si apa Wanderer pasti. Mana mana artefaknya? Oke okay, kita lihat sedikit di sini. Uh, gue pernah bikin gue pernah bikin konten shortsnya, tapi kita lihat di sini sedikit di sini. Yang pertama ada artefak Desert Pavilion Chronicle, Anemo Damage Bonus plus 15%, uh, for piece nya when charge attack hits opponent, the equipping character normal attack speed will increase by 10% while normal normal charge while normal charge, charge and plunging attack damage will increase by 40% for 15 seconds. 
Jadi ketika charge attack-nya mengenai uh, musuh, uh, normal attack speed-nya naik 10%. Sementara normal attack-nya uh, no, sementara normal 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 attack, charge attack, uh, dia normal normal attack lah jatuhnya ya. Itu akan damage-nya naik 40%. Menurut gua ini buat Heizo, buat Wanderer, buat si ini bagus gak ya buat si siapa namanya buat buat Xiao gue nggak tahu kalau buat Xiao akan bagus atau enggak karena uh, boostingnya dia ada di 40% sementara kalau misalnya di apa namanya di di Vermilion ya namanya ya itu kan per per habis darah per 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 Xiaonya kehilangan darah gue nggak tahu ini akan efektif atau enggak tapi mungkin bisa akan make Yang kedua ada Flower of Paradise Lost, increase elemental mastery again melihat elemental mastery. Dewekeping karakter high bloom, hyper bloom dan bergen reaction damage are increased by 40%. Betul. Betul. Additionally after equipping uh, after the equipping karakter Tigress Bloom, hyper bloom dan bergen they will gain another 25 bonus of the effect ma- ancient major. Hah? Each stack of of this last 10 seconds maximum uh, for stack simultaneously the effect can only be triggered once per second. The character who who equips it can still trigger this effect when not on. Duh. Wah ini, wah. Ini artefak artefak baru buat karakter Dendro sih. Kalau menurut gua ya. Artefak baru buat karakter Dendro siapa yang efek siapa yang paling efektif menurut gua ya ini kind of Dendro yang ada sekarang yang utilize EM tapi ya eh nggak 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 juga nggak juga karakter Pyro karakter uh, Hydro karakter apa namanya oh karakter Pyro Hydro Pyro dan Hydro karena adanya cuma belum Hyper Bloom sama Bergen berarti Pyro sama Hy- Pyro Hydro Pyro Hydro sama Dendro yang akan efektif memakai uh, artefak ini. Wah, ini tim Hyper Bloom sama Burgeon-nya kenceng banget naiknya. Buset dah. Kalau mereka trigger soalnya, mereka trigger. Jadi tergantung, tergantung siapa yang mau siapa yang mau kalian buat untuk bisa trigger. Jadi bisa apa? Bisa lu pasangin di karakter Dendro-nya kalau triggernya di Dendro. Bisa kalian pasangin di karakter Uh, hydro, hydro dan pyro. Kalau kalian mau apa namanya uh, triggernya di situ, eh, elektro juga bisa ya. Iya, uh, kalau nggak salah hyper bloom bisa ditrigger dari dari elektro deh. Wah ini bagus sih, bagus banget ini artefak. Dan tapi dan again bukan buat karakter uh, animo dan bukan 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 buat karakter geo. Kasian amat ya geo sama geo sama animo. Dan tapi dan again uh, animo sudah dapat sudah dapat artefaknya sendiri sekarang dan Geo kan sudah dapat husk ya. Oke, kita lanjut. Yeah. Okay. Content, so Oke, okay. pendokaran lagi. Jadi gua skip dulu ya. Oke, okay. oh ini okay, uh, event. So next we'll be covering the upcoming events for the new version. Bentar, itu right. ada payung, payung apaan? Test of Courage event and I'm sure plenty of you were wondering about that. So let's start there. Aha. You must be here to participate in the Test of Courage. Uji nyali, oke. Okay. Ada oleh di di Jepang lagi obon ya. If you carelessly go running into the event, all it'll take is one little. Biasanya atau apa namanya event-event kayak gini tuh pas obon soalnya yang yang gua tahu ya. <laughs> Some strange and unusual things may occur along the way. If you ever feel you can't handle it. Sebentar, kalau Raiden Shogunnya dapat ka, dapat dapat kostum baru lucu nih. Eh, tapi bukan. Oh, bukan, 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 bukan. Kok pikir Raiden Raiden Shogun dapat kostum baru di sini? Geblek. One. Welcome to the test of courage. Enter at your own risk. Enter at my own risk. Oke. Okay. Uh, that was pretty interesting. Bentar. Bentar, 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 bentar. bentar. Ada senjata baru tapi short. Kenapa nggak ada claymore ya? Senjata claymore terakhir buat yang gratisan itu adalah uh, apa namanya? Senjata claymore gratisan itu senjata ikan. Jadi short lagi. Estering desire short. Yang apa namanya senjatanya si itu juga short. Senjatanya si albedo short lagi. 
Terus apalagi? Eh banyak lebih banyak short sih. Coba kita lihat yeah, ada apa aja. I mean, it is a test of courage. So I'm sure there'll be some scary stuff going on there. Okay. Anyway, to successfully clear this event, we'll be facing a series of little tests. Oke. Okay. What's this? Tests you say? Yes, that's right. Tapi sebagai sword lumayan lucu sih bentuk pedangnya sih. Find yourself encountering a special sort of game. We've already got the rules down, so I'll do a quick introduction. Basically, travelers will have to control a bouncing bar to bounce a ball and Lah, main Akarnoid. Eh, bukan Akarnoid, namanya apa sih lupa gua. Okay, I'm liking this one. Seems pretty straightforward. During the game, travelers will be able to trigger elemental reactions to break bricks more effectively. Okay. Nice. It even has elemental reactions. Yeah. We can control the character to move the bar. Kadang-kadang gua ngerasa bener-bener uh, apa Hoyo First tuh lagi mau bikin game baru yang at least yang baru tujuan dengan mini game. Tapi apa namanya uh, di, di testingnya di sini gitu loh. The bar can infuse a certain element and the blocks also have their own element so causing a skill bar Yeah 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 yeah. This, this is this is cool. Different elements will trigger elemental reactions. There how I do. Yep, you nailed it. Hmm. The bar will add the element Jadi bar bisa diganti-ganti untuk membuat elemental reaction buat ngancurin uh, apa namanya ngancurin kotak-kotaknya. Well, it's a good good concept. Oh, tapi tergantung oh gantinya tuh ganti-ganti karakter. Oke. Okay. Ah, ganti karakter. Jadi kalau ka kalian ganti karakter Pyro, barnya jadi ba jadi Pyro. Kalau ganti ka ganti karakter Electro, ka apa barnya jadi Electro. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Travelers can utilize this effect to break some bricks that would normally be difficult to hit directly. It's like a bonus attack. <laughs> well, yes, of course. So, travelers will need to select characters of the right element, equip the appropriate modifiers, and use different elemental reactions to yeah, ganti karakter, ganti bar. And then travelers will be able to use their points to exchange for rewards in the event shop, correct? Okay. Also, travelers will have the option of teaming up and playing the event together in co-op. Oh, bisa co-op, bisa co-op. Yeah, super fun. Yeah, in addition to this mini game, the test of courage storyline will. Gue pengen tahu pedangnya bisa ngapain sih. Travelers will even have. Karena gini, senjata apa namanya? Gini, karakter yang ada it. Kan kalau kemarin kan gini ya, kita dapat dapat pole arm ya. Pole armnya berfungsi kepake buat si Sino. Ini Katalis dan bow, tapi dia ngasih sword. Swordnya kepake buat siapa? Next event. Next event. Next up, we have a race event called Across the Wilderness. Across the Wilderness. Our objective: collecting balloons. Oh, di Monstar. Okay. Yes, sangat. Again, menurut gua wonder punya utility yang terlalu bagus sih menurut gua. Dan again, animo karakter selalu begitu. Terutama yang B5 B5 ya. So during the challenge, travelers will be able to utilize their character skills and talents. So it'll be important to assemble the right team depending on the traits and terrain of the challenge area. It seems easy enough. Yeah, seems fun enough. Easy enough and fun enough sih lebih tepatnya. To obtain various buffs. Which include enhanced jumping capabilities, increased ah. movement speed, or unlimited stamina, etc. Oh, cool. However, you can only claim one buff during each challenge. Okay. You must consume blessed energy to use the compass and gain the selected buff. You may charge the compass up by finding wilderness balloons or interacting with blessed energy in the challenge. Ah, okay, or okay. Lucu, 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 lucu. If I lucu. Charge over time. Eventnya di Liyue sama Monstad. Oke. Ya, there are two different kinds of wilderness balloons in these challenges. Oke. Okay. First is harvest balloons, which will increase the overall progress of your search for wilderness balloons. Oke. Okay. The other kind is sonar balloons. Sonar balloon. Which will cause several harvest balloons to appear around you for a certain oh, amount of time. Oh, oke. Okay. So there will be five stages available for this event, and five stages. Wow, set that Sumeru. Banyak banget. Okay. Also, travelers may team up in co-op mode. Bisa team up. Ooh, more chances to play together. Okay. Yeah, same. 
Okay, let's move on to our next event. Next event ada apa lagi? Pinterest kembali guys. Oke. Okay. Pinterest lagi. Oke, okay, Pinterest. Huh? Let me introduce what travelers can expect to see this time around. Bisa ngapain lagi sekarang? Ya yeah, udah tahu, udah high and seek la 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 la, ya ya. Okay, wait a second. There actually might be some new travelers out there who've never seen this event before. So, why don't you start with some of the basics? Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, uh, let's start at the beginning then. This is a game with a long history in Mondstadt. Travelers will be split into two different sides, mm -hmm. the rebels and the hunter. You will need to use skills and master the art of hiding or chasing down others to win <laughs> Tapi, this event. Entah kenapa gue selalu gue selalu enggak main loh win trace ini. Gue jarang jarang, jarang ikutan win trace loh. Karena harus barengan gitu loh. Kita harus barengan gue apa namanya enggak terlalu enggak terlalu getol maininnya. Walaupun lumayan ya apa namanya uh, primo game-nya. This time around, once you're caught, you'll still be able to participate in the match even in observer mode. Oh. Yeah, cool. Once you're in observer mode, you can't be seen by other players and will receive the illusory beacon skill. This skill will allow you to place a random beacon. Di, dia jadi power tengah jalan gimana? Successfully tricks the hunter and is yeah, yeah, destroyed. Yeah, then the hunter will suffer an obscured vision effect. So, oh, ke, yo, oh ini seru, seru, seru. Jadi ya, jadi bisa bisa ini apa namanya? Bisa ngebantu jadinya. Oke, 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 oke. Ini lebih 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 terasa adil, lebih terasa seru sih. Ya jadi hunter jadi lebih res, lebih rebek jadinya. Some new windward arts have been added for both the hunter and the rebels. The hmm. hunter will now be able to use the hunter's net. Oh? This net can be thrown and will remove any rebel disguises within its range and will notify the hunter that a rebel was detected. Ah. If a beacon is caught in the net, it will be destroyed and the hunter will not suffer from obscured vision. Nice. So, I guess if you love playing hmm. hunter, you'll probably love this. Oh yeah, you definitely should. <laughs> the skill rebels used in previous versions of the game to place beacons can now only be used by players in observer mode. Oh. However, the rebels will be able to use an all new concealing beacon skill. Oh, oh. This skill okay, adil, 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 cukup adil. For a set duration and remain invisible while you're around that beacon. All players, including your rebel teammates, will be unable to see you while you're invisible. If the concealing beacon is destroyed by the hunter, Mm -hmm. the hunter will have their vision obscured for a short time. Sounds pretty fun, huh? Yeah. Okay. So even if you end up being captured by the hunter at the start of the game, you'll still be. Karena kadang gue ngeliat gini kayak kayak Dead by Daylight aja sih. Ya karena kan kejujuran ya, tag juga gitu loh. Ah, the good stuff. So be sure to check it out. Oh, that's awesome. Seriously, I can't wait to play with friends. Okay, our next event Defend. is a combat based. Combat base. For some combat. Whoop, whoop. In a forbidden place warded by dust and sand. Misty dungeon. Okay, kita balik ke mana? Balik ke Sumeru. Okay. That's right. A new edition of Misty Dungeon will arrive in version 3.3. Stoked. Sweet. But this time around, there will be a total of seven trials with different themes awaiting you in the Misty Dungeon. Okay. Each has a different ley line disorder, and travelers will have to adjust their teams according to the disorder's effects ah, and the distribution of enemies. There will also be trial characters for you to select from as well. Ah, After yeah, entering the domain, travelers will need to go and complete three challenges to collect oh, ancient runes. Oh, yang ini. Three ini yang kayak runes, kayak apa nama kayak rock light ini bagus. Oh, ini keren nih keren. Challenge. Ini bakal lama mainnya sih. Throughout the trial, additional benediction mechanisms. Yang ini kayak waktu itu di Nazuma. Tapi ini jadinya di di Sumeru sekarang. Oke. Okay. You know, If it were up to me, I'd say just go for all the challenges. Of course, <laughs> I know, you can do that. You can do that. Keep in mind that the challenge objective for each trial. Okay, ini uh, menarik, menarik, so menarik. So sure to check the objective and aim for that while proceeding. In terms of rewards, hmm? travelers can look forward to winning primo gems. And primo gems pasti weapon ascension, character ascension materials. And last okay. but not least. Version 3.3 will also okay, have dapat luapan leilan juga. Okay. Travelers can look forward to saving their resin and earning more Mora and experience books. 
Nice, that's awesome. Uh, that'll be great for all the travelers out there still leveling up all the yeah, characters. Of yeah. And even if you don't need those resources now, it's always good to stock up and have more on hand. Am I right? Oh, tentu saja. Yeah. <laughs> Gue ada mulai so, kekurangan ini. With, with good, tambah kurang banget. Gila. Yeah, Banyak banget kater yang lagi naikin levelnya. Ah, ini yang gue tunggu. Permanent game mode called Genius Innovation TCG. TCG, oke. But before we get into that, let's take another. Oke, well, kan kau udah gue skip dulu ya guys ya. Gue skip dulu. Oke. TCG. We've stumbled across several NPCs talking about a game called Genius Invocation TCG. Okay. So next, we'll introduce this card game that's been taking to bat by storm. Mm. In the version 3.1 special program, we already revealed that Genius Invocation TCG will be a card game where we can challenge various characters and NPCs ah, okay. or battle against your friends. Battle against it. Oh, okay. There is actually a legend behind this game. It is said that a young guy in Sumeru found an ancient casket of tomes okay. in the attic. Casket of tomes. He opened it and discovered that the soul of an ancient TCG player called the Crocodile King had been captured inside. Mm -hmm. What a name! It turns out that the Crocodile King was King oh. Deshret's viceroy. Okay. He battled an opponent named the Ibis King. Ibis King. Okay. During the match. The Crocodile King fell prey to his opponent's scheme. Mm. He was sealed away in the Casket of Tomes. Casket of Tomes. <laughs> okay. 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 After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him mm. and helps him to gradually climb the ring. Bentar, ini, ini. A legendary TCG player. <laughs> nice. Hang on. Bentar. Yu-Gi-Oh! Ini cerita Yu-Gi-Oh! Dia ngambil ceritanya Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. Yu-Gi-Oh. Oke. Yu-Gi-Oh. Ya, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh banget. You're right. It turns out that Yai Publishing House is about to release a hit light novel series based on Genius Invocation TCG. Oh, okay. Now this is starting to sound like a plug for Yai Publishing House. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. But anyway, that's the legend on how Genius Invocation TCG came to be. Though okay. It's probably just a story they came up with for marketing the game. So while you were telling us about mm, the story, okay. I was over here researching the rules to the game. Basically, Genius Invocation TCG, TCG is a game where you use a constructed deck of cards to duel against an opponent. Oh. The objective is to defeat all of your opponent's character cards. That's right. Also, oh, there are many oh, features in the game that resonate with Genshin Impact's gameplay, so it shouldn't be too hard for players to get the hang of. Oke, nggak ada kartu, ini nggak ada kartu, oke. Yup, a constructed deck must contain character cards, and as you might expect, wah, gue bisa bikin konten cuma di si TCG doang nih, serius nih. And an elemental burst. So when a character card deals elemental damage to an enemy, it will cause them to be affected by that element. Kalau ini sukses, bukan nggak mungkin TCG-nya dilepas, terus menjadi jadi game sendiri sih kalau menurut gue. Elemental reaction. Did you guys notice that there are even monster character cards? Can we even make a deck of like just the monsters from the game? Mm. <laughs> You're really getting into this, Max. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I like card games. Who doesn't? <laughs> hey, card game so terakhir yang gue mainkan Marvel Snap. TCG, so all actions require you to spend elemental dice. Each round, both you and your opponent will roll eight elemental dice. Mm. Each of these elemental dice can have any one of eight elemental attributes. Okay. Hold on, but there's only seven elements in the world of Tibet. You're right. So, in addition to the seven standard elements, there's also one called the Omni element. Omni. The elemental dice required for a character card to perform an action correspond to the character's element. Okay. So, for example, a pyro character like D. Luke needs either pyro or omni elemental dice to perform an action. Clear yep, crystal clear. Also, okay. elemental dice can be used to switch characters or play a variety of other cards, such as. Wah, oh, lumayan ribet. Cards, ini yang 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 ngedesain bakal lumayan ribet nih. All these cards create the potential for a variety of strategies. 
Right. While playing Genius Invocation TCG, travelers can earn player experience. Mm -hmm. You'll increase your player level. Mm -hmm. As your level increases, you'll be able to challenge more characters and NPCs. Oh, okay. By completing challenges, you may earn lucky coins, new cards, or other rewards. Ah. Lucky coins can be exchanged in the event shop for cards. Oh, bisa beli kartu, oke. Okay. Dynamic skins for certain cards. Dynamic skins? Th those are cards that have moving illustrations, right? That's right. Oh. All okay. character cards can unlock a dynamic skin. After unlocking that, there'll even be a cool bonus animation whenever you cast that character. Oh, cuma animasi doang, oke. Okay. And if you're confident in your TCG skills, you can also invite a friend to duel. After reaching a high enough player level, you'll even Kalau kalian mau toksik-toksikan, ini saatnya main TCG ini. Seriously. Ya, di sini kalau lu otak sih kan udah saatnya saatnya di sini. So you can relax. It's all just for fun. <laughs> oh, this is TCG. It's not going to be just for fun. It's going to be blood. That is going to be blood. Oh, sudah habis. Oke, okay, ada lagi. Kita lihat tidak ada tidak ada lanjutan belakangnya enggak ada oke okay. banyak yang menarik di 3.3 terutama uh, TCG kalau gua sih uh, TCG bisa jadi konten baru buat para apa para streamer dan jadi konten yang panjang juga bisa TCG TCG itu uh, mainnya agak lama Yugi oh mainnya lama Hearthstone mainnya lama on the other hand Uh, untuk karakter baru Wanderer dan apa Faruzan jadi additional uh, karakter Anemo yang keren banget menurut gua. Kalau Faru kalau Faruzan dari apa yang disebutkan jadi support eksklusif sedikit jadi kayak support eksklusif walaupun dianya sendiri jadi bisa jadi DPS yang bagus kalau menurut gua ya dari pandangan gua. Dan again, semua karakter bisa jadi DPS di sini. Again, apa namanya? Gua bisa nemuin Goro DPS, kenapa enggak Faruzan DPS? Uh, dan uh, banyak event-event yang menarik. Wind Tracer-nya juga ada lagi, walaupun mungkin gua nggak ikutan. Tapi ya buat yang suka Wind Tracer, kenapa enggak untuk ikutan ya? Uh, yang paling yang paling nempel memang TCG sih, karena TCG ini buat konten creator konten creator kayak tadi gua bilang akan ja bisa jadi ngisi bolong banget ngisi ngisi jadi ketika kita sudah sudah nggak ngapa-ngapain TCG itu bisa jadi bisa jadi pengisi pengisi waktu banget bisa jadi pengisi waktu banget buat at least buat gue gitu loh jadi bermain di Genshin itu bisa jadi lebih lama cuma karena TCG doang TCG doang menurut gue kalau kemarin bisa lebih lama hanya karena uh, main The Sims <laughs> ya apa di di apa namanya di pot ini bisa lama cuma karena main TCG doang kalau menurut gue Uh, gua nggak tahu apakah TCG ini akan kelanjutan ke depannya akan bagaimana, apakah bagus, apakah enggak. Tapi ini good additional buat nambahin nambahin isi konten game karena ini permanen. Tapi ke depannya gua nggak tahu, ke depannya gua nggak tahu. Kemungkinan terbesarnya ya penambahan penambahannya bisa akan nambah di TCG-nya juga. Jadi kalau misalnya dapat kartu karakter baru, kartu baru dan lain-lain, TCG akan nambah lagi juga, berarti kan ya. Karena ya standar gitu lah apa namanya game TCG akan seperti itu. Oke, okay, itu dia special program 3.3. Bagaimana menurut kalian? Kalau menurut gua yang paling gua tunggu adalah cerita cerita Wanderer. Fase 2 gua nggak tahu ada akan ada apaan untuk cerita ya, cerita Arkon akan ada apaan. Tapi yang paling gua tunggu adalah what happened to Wanderer? What happened to Scaramouche? Karena setelah setelah kemarin kalah, kenapa tiba-tiba dia bisa jadi playable karakter? Kenapa dia jadi bersah, bersahabat dengan kita? Oke, okay, terima kasih sudah nonton Kamarama. Jangan lupa like and subscribe. Sampai jumpa di Kamarama selanjutnya.